Restaurant owners understand they face big challenges ahead as they work to reopen and keep staff and customers safe at the same time. James Beard award winning chefs Nina Compton and Steven Satterfield are joining us with some perspective. Thank you both so much for joining us. I know this has been so difficult on the restaurant industry, so we wanted to hear from both of your perspectives. Nina, why don't you tell us what's going on with your restaurants first? So currently both the restaurants are closed. Uh, we just got the ban lifted so we can occupy at 25%. Uh, so we're gonna open June 4th, uh, starting to do takeout at Buy One American Bistro. The second one is actually gonna stay closed. Um, and it's been kind of difficult to navigate, you know, these changes that we have been thrown at us and how we can operate a restaurant safely and also make some money and keep our doors open. So that's kind of been a day by day challenge for us trying to figure out all these rules and regulations as as we go through these past couple of weeks. Sure, I'm certainly um, certain it has been difficult to navigate. Steven, you are in Atlanta. Why don't you tell us more about your restaurant and what's going on with that? Sure. Um, so we've been closed since March 15. Uh, we we actually fed some healthcare workers for Emory University uh, for six weeks, and that was a really rewarding experience. We have um, <clears throat> just started doing takeout curbside at the restaurant here. And this weekend we are doing a uh, barbecue uh, to go, which has been wildly successful. It's the first real business that we've had. And we're planning an opening on June 1st. Yeah, you both have mentioned though, you closed for a minute. How difficult has this been just from a business perspective, trying to figure out the right move to make and kind of stay afloat through all of this? Yes, I mean, it's, it's been really difficult because, you know, when we close, I close at the same time as Steve in March, March 15th, and you, it's very hard to figure out what the next steps are because we didn't have, really have a timeline uh, until, you know, two weeks ago when they said, okay, May 15th, you can open. So staying closed for a long time, I think people are being creative, you know, doing hospital meals, some people are doing staff meals. Um, so it's been really hard to try and figure out a business plan because people are still scared to come out even though we can function um as a restaurant now instead of doing takeout but it's still it's still very hard because people are staying in they're staying inside so they're not really spending as much money and you really don't know what to expect because we're not in a, in a normal state right now sure and a big part of this i'm sure is that you have employees that you have to take care of as well Stephen, why don't you start there and talk about how your employees are doing have you had to lay any of them off we had to lay off about 30% of our team. Um, we were able to keep 25 employees through the entire project where we felt fed healthcare workers. And we still have that same team right now as we plan to reopen. And we're currently trying to figure out how many people we can seat in the dining room, uh, the new floor plan, which is going to have six feet between each diner, uh, uh, around 50 to 60% occupancy in each room. We're also currently building out um, an area in the front of the restaurant where we can have some more outdoor seating. It's not really part of the restaurant, but it's in front of our front door. And it's a, a way for us to utilize some public common area space in our, in our building that our landlord and our neighbors are completely fine with us utilizing so that they know that we need the extra help and the extra seats. Sure, Nina, how has this impacted your employees? Uh, yeah, so we laid everybody off. We followed everybody once we once we closed because we weren't really doing any operations, um, and we're slowly starting to bring everybody back. Um, the management team is they started actually this week um, deep cleaning the restaurant and getting things back on track, and we're just going to slowly ease into it because again, one of the, the biggest concerns is safety um, for staff. You know, coming back um, and just making sure that everybody can fall into the program of the new sanitation rules and everything else, because it, it is very hard for people to adjust. You know, when you're at home with your spouse or your loved ones, it's fine. But once you start being around other people, you have to be more mindful of everything that you touch, wearing your mask at all times. And that takes some getting used to. So that's why we're trying to ease into those things slowly. Sure, it's a lot that you guys have to consider. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about it. And of course, we wish you both the best of luck, Nina and Steven, thank you.